okay guys welcome to the next first part uh, which is uh, lighting our model so let's go to the EV here and you can see our model is not visible at all because uh, we have no light in our scene so let's add a light so basically click shift a to add uh, point light you can add every light that you want but in this tutorial I will use point light because they give me the best result that uh, I want so yeah it's very weird position now and it looks very weird so maybe let's move it up on the z-axis and move it up about uh, seven meters up because I want this light to be above my um, model and uh, I want to move it uh, behind our model too so let's go to the right view and move it behind a bit so three meters is okay and let's go to the front again so as you can see it this light creates a, a nice rim light on each side of our uh, shoulder but also it created this not really nice uh, light on on the neck so i want to move it so it will only mm, affect uh, one side and the other it will affect less so let's move it to the left first and i move it around here so you can see that it affects only this one and this is quite harsh now and uh, sharp and I, I don't want my light to be that sharp so let's go to the properties of the light and let's uh, increase the radius of the light to about about five meters and you can see now it is more uh, smooth and uh, less intense and we want to repeat that process on the other other side so let's duplicate it so click shift d and move it to the right on the x-axis and now you can, as you can see we have a really nice silhouette of our torso uh, on the top and if you want uh, to have a silhouette all around your model just you can e either move the light below here for example as you can see we have nice silhouette here or you can have one big light and you can scale it up not scale it up you can change the radius and increase the energy to be higher and this will make uh, a room light but uh, i think if you are having two on each side it it will be a better result and I will leave this light also at the middle part because yeah it, it created a nice rim light around her shoulder oh it's not shoulder I don't know what is this uh, a hip yeah a, a, around her hip and it looks very nice and it can help us to to see what this is if we didn't have the, the color here so yeah this is uh, only light lightening the, the back so let's now lighten the, f uh, the front so copy one of the, the shoulder lights from the side and move them to the front and let's see move them around here and you can see now we have a better uh, visibility on the front of our character and repeat the step on the right side and if you want uh, this lightning to, to not be symmetrical you can e either move this down or you just can play with the values so for example I can select the front uh, light left front left light and change the energy to be slightly bigger for example 15 and now the left side is more uh, lightened so this will be 
it guys I think for the lightning and if you want you can also change the colors to have the diff different vibe di different atmosphere but uh, for the purpose of my tutorial I want to keep it very minimalistic and simple so this will look more uh, stylized but if you want to achieve more real realistic light a uh, realistic skin just change the color to something more orangish like skinish yeah but I will leave it at the default or you can even have the <clears throat> complementary complementary lights uh, at the back so this can be for is it back one no it's not back one back one so yeah here you can have the bluish and here you can have the orangish and yeah they look really nice together but yeah as i said for the purpose of my tutorial i will leave it everything on white so save your project uh, how to call it light ah uh, render tutorial and let's save it in blender projects okay so now we finished uh, our lightning part it's not perfect but uh, everything will be changed later uh, also the shadows uh, that's, that you can see here they are quite uh, ugly but we will change everything so uh, thank you guys and see you in the next one